In this video, we're going to focus on how we can make these font size responsive. So if you really look at it, and if I refresh here, you can see automatically it refreshed in the right font size. And if I move it or make it smaller, pay attention to the font size here. You can see they are all suddenly readjusting to smaller. And we can go in here, and if we go back here, they will become bigger as well. And if we go back here, it gets smaller. But if I refresh, you can see it maintains small or matching based on the screen size. And if I go here, which is the bigger size, and if I refresh, it grabs the big size immediately. So let's start to explore how to do responsive font size in Chart.js. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers' questions, which is how to make font size responsive based on the screen size in Chart.js. So this question came from one of my viewers on this specific video about how to create a dotted horizontal arbitrary line in Chart.js, which is quite interesting if you're interested in these kind of topics. And then if you scroll down here, you can find the question here from Beatrice Santos. So a special thank you to Beatrice for asking this specific question. And this is what she's asking. Hello, if you can help me, I would be very grateful. I would like to change the font size according to the screen size that is make it responsive both in the X, Y, and the captions. Thanks for your videos, they are very helpful. Well, first of all, thank you, and I'm glad you enjoy my videos. So let's start to look at this. So what we need to do here, and this is the only way we can do it as of so far I know about, as of now, and that is we need to measure the screen size. We cannot measure specifically the div where the canvas would be in or the canvas element, so that's not possible. So we need to measure the screen size. So with that, I'm going to make a following assumption. I assume you're going to have the size of the chart bigger or smaller, depending on if it's a mobile, um, if someone's on their mobile phone or if they're on their desktop. So that will be basically the responsiveness. So let's start to explore this. First of all, we're going to grab the default code. You can go to chartjs3.com getting started. Just go there and just grab the default code here. So once you grab this default code, we're going to paste this. So copy this. And if you would like to understand this code, please check out this specific video that covers that specific code. We're going to save this in here. And then I'm going to cut out the title here. Just put the title in there. And then we save that and refresh. And there we are, we have our bar chart. Beautiful. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use a function. And this function, because we're going to work with the screen size, we must apply this specifically on the body or on the body tag. So in the body tag, we're going to put in a function. It's called the on resize in small letters. And here, we're going to put in basically the item name or the function name. Or you can just do it like that. And we say here, uh, on resize, and this could be yeah, well, we can give this the responsive responsive font and what we will do here is the following the responsive font and I guess this should be like that sorry I was just thinking what is the issue but that's of course like that because we have a function here equals this specific uh, responsiveness so with that we're going to pinpoint eventually this specific or no we're not pinpointing this sorry we're going to pinpoint basically the screen size here based on the body because the body has a screen size measure. So we're going down in here and then we're going to do the following here. So here we're going to create a function and this function will be called, of course, the responsive, responsive font. Did I type in font with S or without S? Oh, responsive font. Fonts. That's all right. Doesn't matter. And then what we're going to do in here, we're going to put in basically the item. So what we need to do here first is start measuring our our font of, or our screen size. That's basically what we need to do. So I'm going to say here console.log. Let me say your window dot auto width. And we're going to save that. And just to check here, if I refresh here now and open up the developer tab, you can see here what's going on. You can see here it measures the fonts of the, the width including the outer part here but if I move this one pay attention now we're going to get pixels as you can see it started to decline all right so that is exactly what we want to do however what we need to do here is then the same thing because right now this div here has a fixed pixel width 
So I, what I want to do here, just for the sake of it, because it should be more applicable that this has a, uh, instead of a fix, it should have a percentage. So let's say this will be 80%. If I save this now, refresh, there you are. And then if I move this, now you can see this is starting to get smaller as well. Beautiful. So now we can start to work with this and with this information here, we can now pinpoint the size of it. So to adjust the size, we need to know where can we do it. You can do it specifically here on the X scale and the Y scale, but based on your comment was you want to do it on X, Y and any text and labels, whatever it would be, they should all be uh, congruent with each other. They should be all identically adjusted immediately. So that congruency is important. So that would mean we're going to pinpoint a specific item here. To do this, all we need is basically this specific command here. We say a chart dot default dot font and then dot size. And then here basically we would put in here a specific size and what will happen with this, I'm going to put it outside first. You will see that instantly everything will adjust to that specific size. If I refresh now, you can see everything adjusts this, but of course you can see here, this is of course not very desirable and it does when you resize it, it starts to trigger again and it will try to recalculate everything accordingly. So that will work eventually because this one here overrules the resizing of it. So we have this and this is very important, but we're going to comment this out because we're going to grab this one this will be pinpointed in here and later on this will be also set up here at the top when we load the chart so what we're going to do here based on this we could do different sizes so let's assume we have three different sizes I assume you're going to do almost a similar structure like bootstrap so if you have bootstrap you know bootstrap has like font size of 14 font size of 16 and font size of 18 and that's what we're going to use here as well and based on their specific width. And I'm, I'm not any more certain about what the exact width was that gets bigger and smaller, which is considered. So we're going to just make up our own version. So that's more than enough. So what we're going to do here, we're going to say the following. We have this here. We're going to cut out this or we can just copy that part. Let me say here an if statement, a very simple if statement. And this if statement will say the following. If this specific or the window size would be bigger than 999 or 999 in that case what we're going to do is we're going to give the font size a specific large size of 18 pixels so we have this one here we'll set this one so what i will do now is i will just save this because the default is on 12. So if I refresh here, you can see here, and then pay attention the moment we're going to uh, hit the 999. So then we're going to move this, pay attention to the amount of pixels you can see on the screen here. We're going to surpass the 999. And there you are. I'm not sure if you notice it, but this is the font size. And now pay attention here, it gets bigger. Bam, there you are. All right, so now you can see this is working. Same story here. Let's do another one, which will say, this will be if it is, um, smaller or sorry it's let's say it's smaller than 999 but and it is larger that the width size would be larger than 666 so the moment we do this we want to have a font size of 16 pixels so now we have this one and we can you assume now already what we have to do more then another one would be, I guess, maybe not six, 666, we should do this 333, that would be more than enough. And then we say here, this one would be, if the screen size would be smaller than 333, in that case, we do here, 14 pixels. What I will do here, I will just put in a very small font size, and I will make this a huge font size, so you can see the difference clearly. So we save this here now, I'm going to refresh. You can see by default when it loads, it loads just a 12 pixel font size. But now we'll move and bam, there you are. It gets bigger. All right, so let's reduce this here. Then you can see it gets smaller. And now we go very small here. And then we can even hit this because it's apparently too small here. Uh, well, in that case, I, I will accept that when you probably figure it out that this one works nicely. But we could do here maybe for the sake of it, this will be 444. 
we make this 444. Refresh, try again. Bigger, smaller, and can we go here? Oh, we can even hit that one. All right, so I make this 500 pixels. 500, and here 500. Save that. Refresh, you can see here now, we get very small fonts, we get medium sized font, and we get massive large fonts. Beautiful. So I'm going to put this back on the uh, uh, 333, the symbolic numbers that we have. So save this, refresh here, there we are. This works nice. So now we have this, but of course you might say, hold on. We have this here right now, and you will notice that we didn't even update it. And the reason why we didn't do any update is because the re uh, the resizing of it will also trigger it. Just to make sure, we want to update it just by default, just to avoid any kind of consequences here. So we say here, my chart dot update, which will update eventually the chart as well. It's just extra for protection. However, a resizing will by default work on that. So once we have this, we're not done yet. What we need to do here is to copy this. We're going up here. And in here, we could do the same thing. We're going to put it up here, basically, just to ensure we have this one here to force the specific size for the chart. Then we reload. So if I reload now, we get the right size. So if I have here, we get this big size. But if I reload again, you can see here, we get the big size as well. And that is basically what we need to do. And this is how you can control it. This will only work with the on, on resize on the body as of now. If I know and if I figure out eventually another answer, I will make sure to make a specific follow-up video on this. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like to learn even more because I know this if you are studying this specific video here about the arbitrary lines here, I have another one that you might be interested in as well. It's almost buried deep into uh, YouTube because it's a video that's been posted two or three months ago and that's this one here and it's an absolutely phenomenal one where you have the tool tip and when you hover over it it will start to create a line here a solid line here and the upper one a, a dotted line as well and this is only on the tool tip the moment you hover away from it it will disappear maybe interested if you are interested in this make sure you watch this one how to add a custom annotation line on hover in chart.js